happy for him, happy for the team, happy for, you know, uh, the whole program. Well, this is going to be his biggest that, that experience uh, enrolling early, coming in, competing for the job, and, and I guess it was kind of three of you guys sharing it uh, to begin with. Yeah, um, it wasn't always easy. You know, had a bunch of uh, ups and downs, especially my freshman year. Um, but uh, it was worth it. You know, for me, I wanted to play early. I didn't want to sit out. Um, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has a different uh, vision of how their college career goes. Um, but for me, I wanted to play as soon as I possibly could, so I came in early. Um, that was difficult, you know, at times, leaving all your buddies back in high school, that kind of thing, um, but, uh, and, and being far away from home. But um, it was worth it for me. Uh, I'm sure it'll be, you know, worth it for him. More and more kids, I feel like, are doing it. Um, I don't follow the college recruiting trail too hot, but uh, I, I feel like that's a, a trend that's growing. So um, it works. You know, everybody's got their own their own feeling towards it, but uh, for me it was the right decision and, and I enjoyed every bit of it. Matt, what was your welcome to the SEC moment? Oh man, um, that's a tough one. Um, welcome to the SEC, I've taken a lot of hits since then, it's hard to remember. Um, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe my freshman year, Kentucky, when we lost, and I like got my helmet ripped off and my face was all bloody and I was like, well this is a lot tougher than, than uh, Sometimes you might think it would be, but uh, that was a that was a tough one for me for sure. So, catch us up on the logistics a little bit. You seem to spend a lot of time in Atlanta. Do you and your wife live in Atlanta off season? Uh -huh. that, uh, we do. And uh, I understand you recently you had a, a church league basketball yeah. championship. And That's apparently hot news. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, you're Matt Ryan and his yeah. wife are on the team. You you, you guys buddies? Or? Yeah, I uh, I met him at the Pro Bowl um, a couple years ago and. Um, we didn't really know, but we lived right around the corner from each other, and, and so we just started talking and um, played golf with him a bunch. He's a good hoop player, so we uh, we went out there and, and won us a little uh, church league championship for second year in a row, which was a lot of fun and um, just a fun way to keep active and, and do something other than going into the gym and lifting weights and running. So, what yeah, church is that? Uh, West Rodney Baptist. Yeah. There was a lot of uh, back in the day, ten years ago. You were quite spotlight and all that when you came in, but now it seems like you, we talked about Jacob for five minutes, which sort of shows how the spotlight can grow even in the last decade. Mm -hmm. What have you noticed? You said you don't follow recruiting at all, but are you glad you didn't do it now versus? Yeah, I'm glad as I'm, I'm as old as I am for sure. Um, you know, that's a that's a heck of a spotlight to be under. I felt like um, when I was coming out, it was like a ton, you know, a ton of attention and, um, you know, just your, there's no such thing as really privacy anymore, especially now, you know, I thought it was that way when I was coming out, um, it was like the, the first probably flip camera phones were coming out and, you know, you, anywhere you went, you were, you know, a picture could be taken and, and you could be asked for whatever it was. And it just, um, it is only, you know, intensified. And, and so for those guys, you know, anybody coming out, um, you know, from high school into college, it's, it's an eye opener. I'm sure um, it's tough for those guys to make the right decisions all the time, and and um, you know, it's it's something that is uh, it's not going to go away. If he keeps playing football and, and all those guys do, and they play at a, at a high level, um, it's only going to get um, you know the spotlight is only going to grow, and um, something you have to to learn to adjust to and get used to. Matt, how tough is it where you're kind of in a unique situation where I guess you went through it twice, being a top recruit here, but then also the first pick in the draft where everywhere you go, people know who you are everywhere. Hey, are you going to start this year? All that kind of stuff. Dealing with that at such a young age. Um, I don't know. You know, I think I was brought up um, by two parents that kind of prepared me for those things, and I'm, I'm lucky in that regard. Um, but you kind of have to live it, do your best. Um, you know, that's what I tried to do, and not to say I did it perfect all the time, but uh, just try to be as good a person, good a teammate, good a friend as I could be, and, and that kind of helped me get through those because it, it wasn't easy all the time. And and um, you know there were times that uh, you know I'm sure I, I didn't make the right decision or I didn't do you know what was best. But uh, you got to learn from them and, and try not to make that mistake, you know, again. Matt, 